Hello friends, welcome back to AZ204, developing solutions for Microsoft Azure Lab 2. And Lab 2 is completely focused on Azure functions. Okay, but like before we dive into the practical session, let's first understand the basics of Azure function. Azure function is a serverless computing service that enables user to run event triggered code without having to provision or manage infrastructure. It means Azure function is a serverless computing is a component that comes under serverless computing where you don't have to maintain any kind of server or infrastructure. Okay. And it is completely based on events. It lets you run a script or a piece of code in the response to a variety of events. Azure functions can be used to achieve decoupling, high throughput and reusability okay now trigger as i told you earlier as your function can be triggered with any of the configured trigger we'll see what are the possible triggers but it doesn't run continuously so basically as soon as it receives a trigger your function app will execute and then it will over it will wait for the next trigger Next is programming languages. Azure functions support various programming languages like C Sharp, F Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Node, Python, PHP, and more. Deployment Azure functions is a separate app service that runs in the app service plan. So there is no manual deployment required. So if you guys remember in the lab one, we developed web applications and then we deployed right manually through Azure CLI. But in case of Azure Functions, there is no need to deploy anything, it will be taken care of by the system itself. Next is let's see the possible triggers to call a function app. So there could be a HTTP trigger, timer based, Cosmos DB. Then we have blob, queue trigger, event grid trigger, event hub trigger, service bus queue and service bus topic trigger. So we'll talk about few here in this demonstration in the practical session. Benefits, it simplifies the development. There is no server to maintain. It lets you create loosely coupled functions and it provides independent scaling. Now let's talk about the lab second, lab scenario. So here is the scenario. Your company has built a desktop solution tool that passes a local JSON file for its configuration settings. During its latest meeting, your team decided to reduce the number of files that are distributed with your application by serving your default configuration settings from a URL instead of from a local file. As the new developer on the team, you have been asked with evaluating Microsoft Azure functions as a solution to this problem. Okay, so we'll break this particular problem in five exercises. Exercise one, create Azure resources. So as part of exercise one, we'll create a storage account and we'll also create a function app. Exercise two, create a function that triggered by an HTTP request. Exercise 3. Here we'll create a function app that triggers on a schedule. Basically a time trigger based function app. Exercise 4. Here we'll create a function app that integrates with other services. So we'll pass the data from one application to other service. And in the last exercise we'll clean up the resources. Okay. Now, as I told you earlier, we always need to have these things ready before we dive into the practical session. Okay. So if you haven't, please go and download the Microsoft Azure Git repo, download the VS code and please keep ready this particular URL in your browser. If you guys are new, you can go and watch the very first video of lab 01 in which I have explained how to download the repo, how to install the VS code. Okay? So thank you and I'll catch you in the next video.